Hi everyone, today in Rigtet, how to use Simulink in the FFT and IFFT MATLAB. Okay, first of all, you need to open MATLAB and then click here to open Simulink. After that, you can select a blank or a template word, word disk. So, let's start. Okay, to search for the blocks blocks you need to click here in library browser then you have this one for example here i have to let the sine wave so what i'm using is this one the asp sine wave you click here you can change the frequency the amplitude the sample time and the sample frame here use a uh, scope to put the graph and you can select the property you can select the input domain frequency of time and the display options the a6 property the FST you can select uh, for points you how many points you want for the length of the FFT or also here divide the output by FFT length you remember that this has to be done so we can have the exact magnitude of the signal when we plot the FFT and to plot before plotting we need the actual value because we know we have real and imaginary part from the FFT and here we select frequency the display and here the ACS property we know we select them minus fs and to the positive fs this we put magnitude here here we want the sample from the input okay now the ifft this is something you have to be careful because it's something different here is that we don't we don't we do not divide the output by the fft length because then will we have a signal too low and in this one is the other way around. We are going from the FFT to the IFFT. So we don't need this one. This one is to avoid the real part, imaginary part. So we can plot immediately from the output to the scope. But if you take off, you need to put one more block here to divide the IFFT the real and imaginary part so it's better to put to check this box box okay here the same frequency display is its property and that's it i think this is wrong this has to be time let me change it okay let's try to play This is too much sample. Let me try to zoom it. Okay, zoom it. Here we see the sign, the amplitude of one that is the same we are getting here in the input. Input one. Okay, and here we see the spectrum. So here the frequency is 0.2 kilohertz, that is 200 hertz. And the amplitude is the half. And we all know that has to be the half, the magnitude. Okay, that's all for today. I hope this video is helpful for you. Give it a like and share it.